I'm Miss Thomas, one of the art teachers at Criers Creek Elementary School. In this lesson, we're going to be creating our own um, scratch art paper. I'm going to show you how to make that. I know a lot of the kids love to do that. You can buy this in the store, but I'm going to show you how to make this at home. Here is an example of a design that I did into my scratch art paper. Okay, so to get started, you can either use oil pastels or crayons. I'm going to use crayons because I know that's probably what you guys have at home. So what you're going to do is color the, um, your piece of paper. I just used a half a piece of paper. Um, and that you need to color it. You can use obviously whatever colors you want, but you need to color it dark. So that means you need to press down really, really hard. Try to press down so that you don't see any of the whites of the paper. So you're going to have to, sometimes your hand might hurt a little bit um, because you're pressing down so hard. Um, so you might need to take a break um, in between, um, you know, doing different colors or something. So you can see here, I just kind of um, did stripes of different colors, kind of in more like a rainbow order. But you can do it, you can color it whatever colors you want. So you want to color, you can color any colors. The one color that you don't want to use is black, because that's what we're going to be doing over the top of the colors. Okay, so after you're done with that, um, you're going to... Um, get some a little bit of dish soap and black paint. I got black paint, I got mine from Walmart. It's just um, plain acrylic black paint. So you want some kind of liquid black paint. So I'm just putting it on a paper plate with some dish soap and then just a little bit of dish soap. It doesn't have to be an exact amount or anything. And then you're gonna mix that um, dish soap into your black paint. And then you're gonna paint it over the top of your crayon and you wanna paint it on kind of thick. So that means you're going to have to keep dipping it into the black paint um, so that it goes on thick because you want to cover up all of your crayon. So if for some reason the black paint that you have is not covering up your crayon, you might want to do a second layer of the black paint mixed with soap. So you can see I'm trying to cover it up as much as I can. Like now I keep dipping it into the black paint because I want to put it on thick. Spread it out so it's nice and smooth, but the paint should be fairly thick. Okay, after it's dry, all I'm doing is using a mechanical pencil, but without the lead pushed up. And then you can do whatever kind of design that you want. So I did just plants. I'm doing like cactus plants. You can do flowers. You can draw an animal. With this scratch paper, it is kind of like um, the medium or um, the, your art supplies to start with. So you can do whatever kind of design that you want to do into your scratch art paper. Um, and like I said, I'm just doing plants. Um, the more design that you do, and the more that you scratch into it, the more you're going to see the color. So you can see that I'm, you, you're using um, positive and negative space by um, using the black of the paper. And then when you scratch it away, you're seeing the color underneath. So the more um, designs and the more that you scratch into it, the more you're going to reveal um, your colors underneath. You could also hope you guys enjoyed this lesson, and I would love to see what you guys are creating at home. At home, if you would like to share it with me, I'd love to see it. I miss you guys. If you'd like to send it to my email address, I'm going to put it below here. Um, so that you can share what you're doing with, at home with me, and I hope to see you all soon.